let me begin my discussion with sp3 hybridization of course coordination compounds their examples i need to furnish here the example for that is mn cl4 minus 2 what will be your points of explanation first point central metal ion which central metal ion is present there mn plus 2 right mn plus 2 second point i can combine it in the first also but separately i am representing electronic configuration organ is there but outer electronic configuration i am writing 3d 4s and 4p orbitals i'll consider in case of first transition series element 4p no electron and if it is a ion then 4s also will be with no electron electrons will be in what 3d orbitals so what's the electronic configuration for my mn plus 2 how many electrons will be there in the d orbital five right right five that i can represent in terms of the block diagram for the electronic configuration one two three four and five these five d orbitals are there your four s orbital and p orbitals how can i arrange those five electrons first electron in one orbital second electron third electron fourth electron and fifth electron third point for explanation is regarding the hybridization coordination number here is four so geometry can be tetrahedral or square planar i want your help what are the possible hybridizations if coordination number four is there then one hybridization is sp3 and other hybridization yes anybody can complete ds p four orbitals so ds how many p orbitals should be there two two dsp2 this dsp2 means square planar and sp3 means tetrahedral after all it depends upon ligand ligand present here is chloride and this chloride is weak ligand weak ligand means it will not compel the electrons present in the central metal ion to pair against hunt rule of maximum multiplicity what i am finding the d orbital is half filled in each orbital there is unpaired electron s orbital is completely empty p orbitals are also empty so how is a guest accordingly arrangement will be made this chloride is weak guest is weak ligand not so close so in such cases the central metal ion will ask those guests outside rooms you remain veranda only and go so which positions will be suitable for that one is a 4s 4p 4p and 4p so three 4p orbitals and one 4s orbital these will undergo overlap or hybridization or interaction and result will be which hybridization sp3 hybridization sp3 hybridization their first structure will be tetrahedral so fourth point you can cover that's a structure structure is tetrahedral how can you represent manganese is at center one chloride second third and fourth and it is in square bracket this complex bracket charge on that is minus two and at the end of that tetrahedral corner chloride will be there is a structure for mncl4 minus two and this explanation is based on hybridization and this concept is based on vbt so on the basis of vbt how can we explain sp3 hybridization central metal line its electronic configuration hybridization and structure advantage of valence bond theory is that it can predict magnetism what do you think about magnetism the fifth point it is now point number five magnetism that we have already covered what do you think from this electronic configuration because here what happened in vacant orbitals ligands can put their lone pairs from this electronic configuration what do you think that complex mn silver minus 2 will be paramagnetic or diamagnetic paramagnetic brilliant paramagnetic yes this is a five point explanation for any kind of hybridization today's point of discussion was sp3 example mn silver minus 2 so question can be through hybridization or through example you should be ready for that if example asks then also you should be ready for the finding hybridization and hybridization is given then you should able to find the example for that is this first example clear to you yes sir yes sir good yes sir a second example. yes now second in spite of giving example of hybridization i give you the uh, actual complex means example i give and from that let us guess the hybridization let us predict 
द मॅग्नेटिझम ऑर द मॅग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टी आय रिप्रेझेंट द कॉम्प्लेक्स हिअर आय नीड युअर हेल्प फर्स्ट पॉइंट सेंट्रल मेटल अँड सेकंड पॉइंट वॉट इज सेकंड पॉइंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन थर्ड पॉइंट ऍट लिस्ट कम्प्लीट हायब्रिडायझेशन राईट हायब्रिडायझेशन फोर्थ पॉइंट राईट स्ट्रक्चर अँड फिफ्थ पॉइंट मॅग्नेटिझम राईट मॅग्नेटिझम लेट अस आन्सर वन बाय वन सेंट्रल मेटल अँड इज मॅग्नेशियम not magnesium mn plus 2 mn plus 2 it is a manganese not magnesium manganese plus 2 and as i got the answer i think saurabh has answered plus 2 charge on the metal and is important electronic configuration 3d5 4s0 4p0 that you would represent in terms of block 3d 4s 4p now when distribute the electrons within them so how can you distribute first electron second electron third fourth fifth here the ligands are cyanide cn minus and those are close gauge strong ligands if close gauge remains then metal ion will make arrangement two possibilities are there in front of mn plus 2 one possibility inner orbital making availability and other outer orbital if this d orbital is to make available then this unpaired electron should not be there but only we can't ask only one unpaired electron to pair if rule is there or will be applicable for all so what happens because of closeness of the cyanide the metal ion itself undergoes rearrangement what metal ion does whichever the five electrons are there those five electrons are arranged first in one room two electrons because maximum two electrons can remain in second room two electrons four electrons are over third room it can accommodate two electrons but it is with only one electron fourth room electrons are not there room is there but electrons are not there fifth room room is there but electrons are not there so in the house of manganese in the 3d compartment in first three regions in first three rooms electrons will be there and later on electrons are not there in the other rooms are you understanding what i am saying yes sir here the four s orbital and then four p orbitals actually these two orbitals are available for hybridization but hybridization is with own rule four only ligands are there so either sp3 or dsp2 out of that one is to choose so here since one of the d orbital is available the hybridization will be d s and p2 those orbitals will interact d s p2 that's a type of hybridization if d s p2 is a type of hybridization then structure will be square planar means manganese will be at center and cyanides will be at the corner of the square this is a square and charge on that minus 2 are you following this point yes sir yes sir fifth point magnetism yes will anybody help from this electronic configuration see here lone pairs from the ligands will come how where will they here lone pair here lone pair here lone pair and and okay okay, okay. actually here one more lone pair means this in this orbital see here lone pair second lone pair third lone pair and fourth lone pair here four lone pairs will be there from this electronic configuration what do you think that compound will be paramagnetic or diamagnetic is there any unpaired electron see here this electronic configuration is there any unpaired electron students in this electronic configuration is there any unpaired electron could you able to read that yes sir ha ah, so question is there any unpaired electron yes yes so paramagnetic or diamagnetic paramagnetic paramagnetic yes paramagnetic here is answer so first point central metal ion as per previous example also mn plus 2 electronic configuration 3d5 4s0 4p0 hybridization when has to occur then we will consider the closeness of the cyanide cyanide are the close guest close friends close relatives so manganese will make inner orbitals available so rearrangement will be there and as a part of rearrangement those five electrons are arranged here two electrons then two electrons and then here one electron due to which though two orbitals are available vacant now but only one two or only one d orbital is useful because coordination number is 4 so it will undergo dsp2 hybridization in those dsp2 hybrid orbital ligands will put there the lone pairs so this is a 
electronic configuration for that complex. From the hybridization, we can say structure is square planar, and we can write or you can draw the structure for the complex in this way. And last point, magnetism. Since there is an electron in the electronic configuration, the compound is paramagnetic in nature. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Now I go to the next complex. Today I discuss two complex. One MnCl4 chloro. Chloro is a weak ligand. Timing, remember that. Sino is a strong ligand. VBT is with the no proper answer for that, but timing, remember that. Sino is a cyanide, is a strong ligand. And because of that, DSP2 hybridation. And chloride, weak ligand. Therefore, SP3 hybridation. If coordination number is 4. Again, I give you one example. Let us answer that. NiCO4. It is a complex. I need your help. First point. First point. Central metal ion. Second point. Electronic configuration. Third point. Hybridization. Fourth point. Structure. Texture. Fifth point. Magnetism. Magnetism. Good. Yes. Answer here. Central metal ion is. In this complex, central metal ion is. Nickel. Charge on that. Yes. Could you answer? Zero. Right. 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 Brilliant answer. It is not so easy. See here. Complex has no charge, zero charge. And this carbonyl ligand, carbon monoxide is a neutral ligand. It also has zero charge. Whatever may be the number of that carbon monoxide, but totality is zero about the charge. Zero is a total, zero is a charge from ligand. So zero will be the charge from metal. So metal is in atomic state. Nickel. Electronic configuration. Yes, please help me now. 3D8, 4S2. 3D8, 4S2, 4P0. Here you have to understand how is a ligand, carbonyl. Carbonyl is strong ligand. Strong ligand. Close relative. So electrons will pair. But which electrons? These D electrons are there and S electron also because those are close in energy, no? D orbital and S orbital are close in energy. So all electrons you have to consider. Total 10 electrons are there on a nickel. And orbitals, how or which orbitals are there? I can represent here D orbitals. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 D orbitals. Here S orbital and here 3, 4 P orbitals I represent. And electrons, suppose if I have to represent then first electron second electron third electron fourth electron fifth electron sixth seventh eighth and here two electrons in what the forest this is a ground state usual or regular electronic configuration but in complex situation remains different this 3d and 4s are close to each other so whatever the luggage whatever the contain whatever the electrons are there they are arrangeable rearrangeable metal and will ask one simple question how is a ligand is it strong or weak answer is ligand is strong means close relative if ligand is strong then metal ion has to make rearrangement redistribution of the electron total how many electrons are there on metal ion 8 plus 2 total 10 electrons are there how those 10 electrons can be arranged First two electron in one room, second two electron in other room, third two electrons, next two electron, next two electron. Yes, here 10 electrons are over. So D orbital is now completely filled. There is a no space, there is a no provision for ligand to put the electrons. So what metal does? Metal does one hybridization. And that hybridization is sp3 hybridization because four rooms are necessary. Four ligands are there. Each ligand is with the lone pair. And lone pairs from the ligand can be represented here. It's a one lone pair, second lone pair, third lone pair, and fourth lone pair. So hybridization and electronic configuration is represented there. So what's the conclusion? Hybridization is sp3. Electrons are in this way. From hybridization, you can say directly structure is. Help me. sp3 hybridization. So structure will be? Structure will be? Tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. So how can I write that structure? Nickel will be at center. One carbonyl, second carbonyl, third carbonyl, and last fourth carbonyl. This is a structure for that complex. Complex is neutral. So square bracket also can represent and no charge on that square bracket. Fifth point is magnetism. What do you find? Complex is good. Good. This nickel carbonyl complex is diamagnetic. So students. Today, I discuss three complexes. One, MnCl4-2, 
sp3 hybridization second mn cn4 minus 2 dsp2 hybridization and third nico4 dsp2 hybridization magnetic property and structural explanation is a key aspect of the valence bond theory how could a valence bond theory explain that due to hybridization concept are these examples clear yes sir yes sir Yes, sir. Good, good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Whether you understood or not, to verify that, I consider one more example. Yes. Let me write first points. First point, central metal line. Second point, electronic configuration. Third point, hybridization. Fourth point, structure. And fifth point, magnetism. Yes. Firstly, central metal line. Zn into plus. Good. Electronic configuration. 3D10. 3 10 4 h 0 4 p 0 so one time only i represent here 5 d orbitals i represent first now electrons 10 electrons are there and 10 is the only capacity so whatever may be the ligand whatever may be the strength of the ligand whatever the closeness of the ligand may be metal ion is helpless metal ion can't make available inner d orbital because metal is with its own luggage so huge so high so numerous that other luggage d orbitals cannot accept so certainly s yes, orbital is available and remaining so coordination number is four so two possibilities are there one is sp3 and second is dsp2 tell me type of habitation sp3 yes and in those sp3 hybrid orbitals ligands will put their luggage or the lone pairs so this is electronic configuration in case of that complex hybridation is sp3 so structure is structure is tetrahedral. tetrahedral so what can one do zinc at the center one ammonia second ammonia third ammonia and fourth ammonia so fourth ammonia can represent square bracket also one can represent and charge on that is two plus okay from this electronic configuration i want to know what's the magnetic property Diamatic. Diamatic. yes brilliant so coordination number four here completed several examples we have considered two examples for mn plus two one example for na plus two one example for zn plus two shall i clear this now yes sir yes sir let us talk about now the octahedral complexes and for octahedral complexes two hybridizations are possible one is a d2 sp3 and other hybridization possible sp3 d2 pay attention d2 inner d orbital d2 outer d orbital inner d orbital means here 3d orbital outer d orbital means 4d orbital for what first transition series metal ions so this these are the inner orbital complexes and these are the outer orbital complexes so in spite of giving direct answer about hybridization let us derive that formula is same concept is same if ligand is close ligand is strong inner orbitals will be made available if possible and if ligand is weak then even if possible arrangement will not be done rearrangement will not be done provision will not be made outer orbitals only will be utilized for the hybridization and ligands will happily put their lone pairs let me consider the example let me write the points what is the fourth point structure yeah answer now cmi chromium plus three electronic configuration 3d3 so let me represent this d orbitals here for s 4p electrons if i have to represent three electrons one two three it is a ground state electronic configuration about strength of the ligand cyanide what do you know how are cyanide weak or strong 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 so d2 sp3 or sp3 d2 if ligand is strong d2 sp3 ligand is close yes yes d2 sp3 hybridization will be there so in those hybrid orbitals the electrons from the ligand so here two electrons from the ligand 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 two electron from the ligand so cyanide ligand will be what filled so it is electronic configuration for that complex what is the hybridization here hybridization here is d2 sp3 if d2 sp3 hybridization structure will be structure will be octahedral right octahedral how can you represent that chromium at the center and one square you will imagine and at the corner of square there will be ligands cyanide ligands above the square upside of the square one ligand downside the square there is what the other ligand and total charge on this complex is minus three it is a structure for that complex of course 
here the bonding is there between them from this electronic configuration what do you think magnetism Paramine. yes is this Paramine. complex clear yes sir yes sir yes sir good good now i discuss next complex co f6 minus 3 again the points are the same third point hybridization fifth point magnetic magnetic magnetism Okay, CMI. Which central metal is present? Cobalt plus CO three. plus three. Good, good, good. CO plus three. Electronic configuration. Three D six. Good, good, good. Three D six. So let me represent it. Electrons. Six electron. How can I arrange one, two, three, four, five, six? This is a ground state electronic configuration. We should know the story between their relationship. We should know the strength of their bonding. Chloride was a weak ligand. Likewise, fluoride also is a weak ligand. Halide ions are weak. So these are not close guests. Two possibilities are there in front of the metal. One is sp three d two, and other possibility is d two sp three. What do you think? What will metal do? Which hybridization? Weak ligand is there. Close guess is not there. So outer orbital, inner orbital. Sp three d two. Oh, sorry, I could not hear that. Sp three d two. Okay, Sp three d two means outer orbital complex. So I remove that inner orbital complex hybridization. Sp three d two is a hybridization. So which d orbitals are there? Four d orbitals are coming. So addition to this. For P, I need to consider d orbitals. Out of that, I am representing only two. Don't think that only these two orbitals are there in that d. Actually, it's a four d orbital. I am considering only two orbitals out of those five. So those two orbitals means d two. These three orbitals means p three, and this s orbital means s. S p three d two is a hybridization, and in those hybrid orbitals, ligands. will put their electrons here one lone pair second lone pair third lone pair fourth fifth and sixth are you following what i'm saying yes sir yes sir okay good so structure yes sir structure octahedral yes there's no alternative coordination number 6 means octahedral so how can i represent by diagram cobalt i have to represent at center and i'd imagine one square here and at corner of square ligands will be there fluoro ligand fluoro ligand fluoro ligand fluoro ligand upside of that downside of that so total such six ligands will be there and square bracket is inner sphere and charge on that is minus 3 is a structure from this electronic configuration i want your answer what's the magnetic property paramagnetic paramagnetism yes. yes brilliant brilliant see here preparation completed so octahedral complex d2 sp3 i discuss sp3 d2 also i discuss are these examples clear to you yes sir Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes. Yeah. Now, shall I ask you to work now only? Do you have the notebook at this moment? If not, then I'll help you. You tell me, I will write here. Example, I am considering now Ti H two O six plus three. And hint, I am giving here H two O is a weak ligand. Just hint, I am giving. On the basis of name of the ligand, we can't say strong or weak because the strength depends upon both nature of metal ion as well as the ligand. But at this moment, I am giving hint to you. Ti H two six plus three. It is a complex. I want answer from you. Which central metal ion is present? What is electronic configuration? Both in free metal ion and as well as in complex hybridization structure and fifth point magnetism. Yes. Which metal ion is present here? Titanium plus three. Right. Titanium. Electronic configuration outer. I could not hear actually. Somebody might have said, but I could not hear that. Three D one. Yes. Three D one. Four H zero. Four P zero. Yes, hybridization. You can write electronic configuration. Hybridization. Two possibilities are there: D two sp three and sp three d two. Decide on the basis of strength. Sp three d two. Sp three d two. Yeah. Even though, even though inner orbitals are available, four d orbitals are available. Four d orbitals are vacant there. Four d means out of three d, four orbitals are vacant. Even though, since is a not a close guest. Not a close relative veranda situation. Outer orbitals, outer rooms will be made available. So hybridization is sp three d two, and structure is octahedral. Magnetic property? Paramagnetic. Yes. Paramagnetic. Good. Yes. Which metal is present? Cobalt. Electronic configuration? Three d six. Three d six four h zero four p zero. I give hint to you here. Ammonia. Is strong field ligand hybridization 
डी टू एस पी थ्री स्ट्रक्चर और ज्योमेट्री ऑक्टाइड्रल ऑक्टाइड मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टी हरिशोर हरिशोर डायमेडी हरिशोर सी आई एम हेल्पिंग यू डी ऑर्बिटल्स फाइव आर देयर सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रीवियसली हाउ कैन यू अरेंज देम सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स बट अवर कॉम्प्लेक्स इज इनर ऑर्बिटल कॉम्प्लेक्स इनर ऑर्बिटल कॉम्प्लेक्स देर पर ऑटल अपन Inner d-orbitals will be made available for hybridization. So those six electrons, how it can be arranged? Two electrons, two electrons, and two electrons. And remaining orbitals which are are there, those hybrid orbitals, the lone pairs are there. Now tell me, paramagnetic or diamagnetic? This electronic configuration, paramagnetic or diamagnetic? Now are you not understanding what I am saying? Thank you, sir. Okay. Pay attention. These are our d-orbitals. I represent s orbital also, and also I represent. p orbitals ground state electronic configuration means six electrons if i have to arrange then how can i arrange those six electron first electron second electron third fourth fifth and sixth since there is a dsp3 sorry sorry d2sp3 hybridization that's a metal ion has to make available two orbitals so which orbital it makes available these two orbitals plus one s orbital and three p orbitals so hybridization is d2 sp3 and in those hybrid orbitals lone pairs from ligands will be there one lone pair second lone pair third lone pair fifth sixth so some 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 somewhere counting is wrong is it's the sixth lone pair sixth lone pair about electrons from the metal ion metal ion is with the six electrons six electrons how can i arrange the six electron first two next two last two so electronic configuration for complex is likewise from that electronic configuration answer what will be its magnetic property paramagnetic or diamagnetic 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 yes that's answer so few said paramagnetic afterwards they said diamagnetic who were saying diamagnetic they said paramagnetic that changes were there they were not expected if we know the strength of the ligand quality of the ligand closeness of the ligand we can predict the hybridization and from the basis of hybridization we can find the number of unpaired electron it's a beauty of valence bond theory is this example clear yes sir yes sir yes no last example i discussed today central metal ion which central metal ion is present theorem charge cobalt 5 0 0 because carbonyl carries no charge because complex also carries no charge so iron also will carry no charge fe 0 ferrum 0 electronic configuration 3d8 4s2 3d8 what's the atomic number of iron ferrum atomic number 26 3d6 4s2 yes 3d6 4s2 4p0 it's a ground state electronic configuration let me represent that d orbitals 1 2 3 4 and 5 s orbital and p orbitals if needed we have to use outer orbitals so four d orbitals so here i am representing 3d 4s and 4p six electrons how can i arrange first second third fourth fifth and sixth two electrons first second 4p there is no electron is a ground state electronic configuration for iron now hint i give it to you this carbonyl ligand is a strong field ligand last time also in case of nickel complex i told strong field ligand so electrons are to pair against hund's rule of maximum multiplicity so i want final answer from you what will be the electronic configuration in complex 3d6 4s2 was previous now in complex what will be there is it difficult no, just simple logic you have to apply no okay i help you listen carefully when octahedral complexes were there two possibilities d2 sp3 or what is the possibility sp3 d2 right it's a inner d orbital outer d orbital now here difference is of d orbital here six total orbitals are there here will be five so there will be d sp3 or sp3 d these two possibilities i am with if ligand is strong ligand is close then metal will make provision if possible 
one of the d orbital will make available when ground state configuration we have consider d orbital was not available yes orbital also was not available but carbonyl i told to you is strong field again carbonyl is a strong field again strong field considering this data possibilities of hybridization dsp2 or sp3d i want electronic configuration first decide yes. right right dsp3 is a possible hybridization so here one of the d orbital s orbital and all these three 4p orbitals will be used for hybridization which hybridization d s p3 and in those dsp3 hybrid orbitals lone pairs will be there from the ligands one lone pair second lone pair third lone pair fourth lone pair and fifth lone pair dsp3 are you following yes sir yes sir but i want electronic configuration yet that point is not answered electronic configuration complex here ligand i told i am interested in this electronic configuration now how will you arrange the electrons how many electrons will you arrange where will you arrange that will give the answer for the question what's electronic configuration yes see total how many electrons are there and accordingly you can answer no total how many electrons are there in outermost orbitals of ferrum hint i am giving how many electrons are there six no additional eight. hint eight. right 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 these six and two combining eight electrons are there because iron is not ionized there electrons are not removed from the s orbital eight electrons are there how can i arrange those electrons first two electrons next two electrons next two electrons and last two electrons 3d8 is electronic configuration so structure structure will be octahedral no 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 octahedral way in d2 sp3 hybridization here hybridization is dsp2 sorry 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 dsp3 sorry dsp3 is hybridization if dsp3 is hybridization then geometry is so common sense long form tbb means triangle by pyramid yes so i have to consider one triangle one upside downside at the center there will be iron and the five carbonyls i would represent one carbonyl second carbonyl third carbonyl fourth carbonyl and here bottom five carbonyl it's a complex and which has no charge so it's a structure for feco5 trigonal bipyramidal structure now last point that's a magnetism what will be the magnetism magnetic good over so hybridization concept application of bbt concept by this lecture i hope and expect is clear to you i started with coordination number 4 then i discuss coordination number 6 in that inner orbital and outer orbital then i come to coordination number 5 there only i discuss one inner orbital outer orbital also will be there only you know you should know the strength of the ligand if you have that idea electronic configuration other things you know already same logic same points first point central metal line second point electronic configuration third point hybridization fourth point structure and fifth point is a magnetism or magnetic property with help of these five points we could describe any complex as per the vbt yes students is the application of vbt to various complexes is it clear to you yes sir yes sir. yes, sir. yes. good 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 now if you have any doubt further you are free to ask if there is no question then i like to stop yes shall we stop now yes sir okay students then i stop the recording and i declare here today's session is over quit now